So today I'm going to take a little more lighthearted talk about uh, some of the perils in, in systems engineering and today we're going to talk about the zombie apocalypse in systems engineering and, and really we're talking about in-app modeling. You know when a system modeling effort fails it doesn't just hurt the program that, that didn't do well but it also contaminates an entire organization with a sentiment against modeling and it's usually the result of poor tool choice or an incompetent modeling staff and uh, this can be accompanied by a resurgence of both document centric and diagram centric thinking. And so, uh, you know, from my perspective, the most dangerous person in the world is someone who thinks they know what they're doing. You know, it, it's really uh, unfortunate that, that there can be well-intentioned, but, uh, you know, not very capable people that go off and, and do a lot of things that do enormous harm. So, you know, here's an example of a document-centric approach to systems engineering. You know, here's a requirements diagram, probably my least favorite uh, SysML diagram. You know, from my perspective, a complete waste of space. Uh, the information density of this is very low, and uh, I've run into individuals that, that swear up and down how important these are to give you context for requirements, and they have all sorts of rules on how many per page. And, you know, if you have hundreds of requirements, you end up with hundreds of pages of diagrams like this that, from my perspective, are a complete waste of time and effort. So not only did you have to make these, but uh, just the effort in printing them out and taking up space, you know, as part of the shell form mentality that, that's so anathema to me. You know, to me, it's so much better to have a model-centric approach to understand that the important thing is to have the element and the connection. So in this case, we're presenting this in a table. Uh, you know, and again, you can blow this out to Excel, lowest common denominator engineering tool. And if you wanted to filter on allocated to or satisfied by, you could do that. You know, tabular representations of data like this are so much more useful uh, than just a diagram. Or even better, you know, here's a matrix where it's really clear uh, what's been allocated to what. Uh, and again, you can find gaps. You can do you know, multi-level multi uh, hops and display it in a matrix. There's lots of interesting things you can do. And, and to me, matrices are the most important representation of these relationships. The, the tables have their place as well. But to me, the diagram, uh, not terribly useful. And again, if you think good employees are expensive, try bad employees. You know, this is a, a, an image that's all over the internet. But even worse is if you think good modelers are expensive, uh, try net modelers and cheap tools. You'll find out what really expensive really is. You know, uh, I've been fighting the wrong battle. I've been sort of on the offensive against some of the other high-end tools out there and forgetting that companies that invest in the more expensive modeling tools tend to pay for better modelers and invest in training. Uh, you know, when you're making an, an investment of thousands of dollars per license, uh, you tend to be far more sensitive to how it's being used. Whereas organizations that choose the less capable, less expensive modeling tools or just the simple diagramming tools tend to provide less capable staff and they avoid investing in training. And so you get the zombie apocalypse of systems engineers shambling around in the semblance of life and activity while they're actively harming uh, everything around them. And you end up with shelfware, you end up with a lot of drag without lift, and you really don't help your projects succeed. And that's, that's the real danger uh, from my perspective. And so how do you respond to an outbreak like this? You know, stay calm. You know, it doesn't pay to get uh, all wound up. You need to track down patient zero. You know, who's the driver behind um, the, this document-centric approach uh, or, and diagram-centric approach and, and try to sway them uh, and start showing what competent modeling can do. Show them, you know, meta chains and, and complex queries and compact representation and model transforms and parametrics and all the good things that you can do with an excellent tool. Um, and if you still can't uh, win the battle, then just start burying them uh, in a pile of wow. You know, just start really pull out the stops and, and demonstrate that you can get much better answers, more relevance, uh, far quicker and easier by using a, a, a good system modeling tool and executing it competently. Thanks a lot, and have a great day.